Now drink us some thicket with and Oh, that's bad Eat, luck. drink, and listen. I don't like Women love tears. Men prefer wine. The tournament. Am I too late to sign up? We've one slot free for anyone willing to play the Skellige deck. I assure you, Skellige is just as strong as the other factions. It shall soon be considered canon, of this I'm certain. I don't know. Always been an Ilfgaard man myself. I must give it some more thought. Geralt of Rivia saw a notice about a Gwent tournament. By all means, you've come to the right place. I am Count Martin Monnier, organizer-in-chief. Our tourney's more than mere diversion. We've a mission, see? To spread word of my brother's brainchild, Skelligan, the new Gwent faction. New deck? Where to get the idea? I mean, why bother? All Beauclair knows me as a great lover and promoter of Gwent. My brother, dead for some time now, was known to be the same. We shared another great passion. Travel. Spent a great many years at sea in our youth, marking out our territory <laughs> in multiple corners of the world. Yet the one that truly grabbed us by the stones were the Skellige Isles. The stormy sea, consumed by a fever, a suicidal awe, dashing itself against somber cliffs. That is the image I retain. It and others like it inspired my brother who defies the new faction. These new cards, tell me something about them. Their design embodies the Isle's spirit, the rage-filled potency, the rough, brutal beauty. Famed Skelligers, heroes of lore, berserkers and beasts, Ogolas from the cards. Bran Twirsek is the faction's leader, of course. And the other famous Skelligers? Yalmar and Serison Kreite, naturally, though not conjoined. Also Hemdal the hero, the venerable druid Ermion, the list goes on. The tournament. Where do I sign up to play? Right here with me. I've one slot open, but there's a condition. You must use cards of the Skellige faction. You see, I've already asked a great many seasoned players to do the same. 
Alas, all fear novelties, disdain process, care too much for the climax for winning. So they insist on playing with their tried and true decks. Long story short, you need a sucker who will risk it. Take a stab at proving Skellig is no worse than the established decks. Best way to do that would be to win this tournament using your brother's cards. We understand one another perfectly, I see. Behold this trophy, standing stiff and strong. It could be yours if you win. Mm, not bad. Could look great in my house. On the sideboard, maybe. All right, I'll give it a shot. Play using the new faction. That is an exceedingly good rub to my loins. Just one small adjoinder. I can only provide you a basic Skellige deck. My brother, alas, gave away or lost many key cards. No chance I can win the tournament with these cards? An issue easily resolved. You must simply face local Gwent competitors, win the missing cards from them. Besides, it would be very good practice for the tournament itself. Here, the cards I can spare you. Take them, please. The rest I keep for myself. I do intend to play as Skellige. Already got a good enough deck to play in the tournament as Skellige. Might I have a peek? You do indeed. Come back in two days' time, then, for the start of the tourney. Doth one know? Sloth doth one grab? Congratulations on your victory in the tourney, Sir Geralt of Rivia. I've three doublets, uh. none of which are suitable to show myself. Sir! I had an appointment at all. My eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me. South in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why were Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclerc? Not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <laughs> yeah. Unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Retore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? This Grotore. Know anything else about it, Mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just... Uh, 
Mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have. But none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. For you are in too small. Get me off to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... Well, indeed, for... for... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Mm, by napping outside the cave for a fortnight? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? Mm, I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to- Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I, I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor! To be the one to lop off its head. We gotta kill it first. Hmm, strange. No sign of Kratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden.
Small skull. Fontanelle's not completely closed. An infant. About a year, maybe. They speak the truth about Various sundries. Clear as day now. Pretoria must have taken them Gotta for its victims. It seems to be off somewhere. Probably feeding. My troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly.
why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I vowed to slay Grattori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Mm -hmm. Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She will drag me to the nearest shrine while... Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels... All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters. Which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work. That you're just not cut out for. Wanna prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time, time I returned home. Banquets and wine. Richard. <laughs> They're smearing his hiney with honey. I don't know why. In fact, boys. Good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Hmm. Congratulations, I guess. Wish you happiness, both of you. And good fortune to you on your path. Your reward. And Godspeed. Wow. 
Come on, 